He basically owes me one because I was one of the main reasons he became Hokage. That makes sense. So that I makes asked sense. him if he would let me have sex with Kushina for the one time. He told me no, then walked away. What type of request is that? Naruto Unhinged Episode 8 The Forest of Freaks. Hmm, it sure is beautiful today, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually pretty nice out right now. No one asked for your opinion, you glue guzzler. Glue guzzler? You literally asked me a question. Bit, I was monologuing. Oh, then what aggressive. was the point in bringing me out here if you were just going to monologue? That is a good I point. I heard some of the kids around the village talking about having something called aura and how the leaf village hoes love it. So I thought <laughs> monologuing in front of a mouth breather like you would increase my aura. Mouth You're breather is years crazy old work. talking about aura. Just stop. I'm 68, yet I would still beat the bricks off of you like I was 30. Mmm. You want me to tell you like that, Kakashi? I brought you here to talk about that little Just nigga at Naruto. Did something happen? Ibiki gave me the results about everyone that participated in the first exam. Surprisingly, a lot of people passed this year's version. But what's even more surprising is that it's mainly because of Naruto. He did okay, carry the and? exam. You smooth bird brain, one-eyed f***. Him being the Insane. reason they passed isn't what I have a problem with. It's the reports I got on his behavior and the way he was talking. I knew Let me guess, bro. Naruto spammed the N-word. He couldn't keep He couldn't keep that his mouth. He just said N-word, N-word, N-word. He just couldn't pop it out, eh? never said you had a problem with it. And that first line you said was really unnecessary. Well, boo-hoo. Go cry to your pops about it. At least that's what I would say if he didn't pack himself up. Yo, Kakashi, bro. Ain't no way that a third Hokage told you like that, bro. He just dissed your pops, bro. You came into him. You came into the house and he was packed. And you let him talk to you like that? Come on, Kakashi. Just to stare is crazy work, bro. I would get up. Just get up and leave, Kakashi. Just get up this and leave, bro. This was a nice bro. conversation, Lord Third. I think I'm going to go before I do something to you. I'll regret. Okay, W, right, Kakashi. Calm w, Kakashi. Down. I need to give you a warning. Calm down. From the information I got from Ibiki, and the other information I got from people around the village, it would seem that the beast inside of Naruto the is starting nigga. to wake up even more. The from what nigga. I can tell, Naruto has been able to keep it under control so far. You might be overthinking it. Kakashi, you don't understand. <laughs> I feel as though the beast is slowly affecting his personality. What do you mean? You remember the night when the nine... Nigga attacked the village, right? Come on, dog! Well, during that time, me and a squad of Leaf Ninja had to hold him off for a little bit while the, the nine... fourth Hokage was busy fighting another battle. But while we fought the beast, I hey, remember yo. his distinct personality. It was almost like he was a little black kid that was from the hood. He was loud, brash, what confident. What are we talking about he right now, nigga like 20 times throughout the fight. The nine meat tail beast, dog. Like, come on, third Hokage! y'all niggas looks like some bitches homie and from the stuff oh, i'm hearing shoot. about naruto it would seem like his personality is becoming similar to the beasts that does seem really similar to naruto which is very concerning we should do something about this i thought about that and i decided that we won't do anything about it why, why not this could be really dangerous for naruto that's what i'm saying Even better hopefully it kills him yo what the hell is wrong with you you promised the fourth Hokage that you would watch over Naruto. So what? First of all, bro, he he the promise, bro. He hasn't been keeping shit, bro. Nigga, Naruto was homeless, basically, bro. He was getting bullied, bro. Third Hokage did not take care of Naruto, bro. He did him horrible, bro. Nigga had him had Sasuke in a five star apartment. This nigga Naruto's in a one star broken down piece of. Why would you ever say something like that? First of all, fuck Minato. Yo. I didn't promise him shit. You did, I lied though. straight to that nigga's face while he was dying. I right, crazy work. about something like that. Because I'm petty like that. I don't care that you're petty. I mm. need to know your reasoning for doing this. Oh, trust me. I definitely have my reasons. When the elders were thinking of making Orochimaru's freaky ass Hokage, freaky I was ass. the one who stepped in and told them that would be a horrible idea. So I nominated Minato instead. Oh, me and we all know how idea. that turned out. He be I basically the put this nigga on and set him up for life. So one day after he was made Hokage, we were talking, and I opened up to him. I told him hey, that yo. because of my age, it's getting a little hard for me to get active sexually due to a lack of women in this village <laughs> interested in older men like me. 
So I asked him for one simple favor. A honey pack. Keep in mind, I never asked him for anything else before this. Okay, Plus, okay. I thought it was understood that he basically owes me one because I was one of the main reasons he became Hokage. That makes sense. So that I makes asked sense. him if he would let me have sex with Kushina for the one time. He told me no, then walked away. What type of request is that? What real man is going to accept that request, Otokaga? You could have asked him anything, like get you a little stripper, get you a little pros, get, get, get you something, dog. But his wife? Come on, dog. So I took that personally. And when I heard he had gotten her pregnant shortly after that, it was like adding fuel to the fire <laughs> that was already burning inside of me. So every day, I prayed on his downfall. Insane I word, prayed bro. that they would have a miscarriage. I even prayed that he would die. Luckily for me, his downfall did come, and he did end up dying. I've never seen someone hate this much over something so stupid and childish. Oh, me. You can say whatever you want about it, but unlike him, at least I'm still alive. I'm just going to that hateful ass statement you just said because now I need to know why you're bringing Naruto into this stupid hate circle of yours. That is he wasn't true. even born yet. You think I care whether that little niglet was born yet? Yo. He's the only offspring of Minato, so I'll be damned if I willingly let him live in the same world as me without any harm. You're pathetic. So is your dad. That lame ass nigga really offed himself. No way he just said that to Kakashi. There's no way Kakashi is gonna let this lie for the third time, bro. Do not look at him, bro. You gotta swing with him right now, bro. Like, do not let him do this, bro. You know what? I think it's time that I leave. You're about to bring out a side of me that I'd rather not show again. Ain't nobody oh, worried about that weak ass ghetto side you got. Oh! I haven't seen that since you were a kid. Oh! Whatever. But just as a little warning, you should probably start watching your back from now on. Because Gosh, it would really be a shame if someone you knew were to indirectly be one of the reasons you die. Oh, so you want to play like that and threaten me, Kakashi? Uh -oh. Well, I can do that too, you sharpie sniffer. What? If anything I said in this conversation gets them? leaked by you or anyone I suspect that you told, then I'll have your albino ass thrown out of this village and hunted until you're tap dancing with your bitch ass sensei Minato. Crazy now get the hell work. out of my face. The second exam starts shortly. Actually, before I go, I need to ask you one thing about that. I understand why you chose Ibiki to hold the first exam, but I'm confused on why you would choose someone like Anko to hold the second one. I guess there's no point to lie about it, especially since I literally just told you everything like I'm some type of cartoon villain. But basically cartoon she villain. came up to me and requested to be one of the proctors. I gave her the position because I'm trying to hit. So hopefully she's willing to pay me back in some lucrative ways to <laughs> say thanks. This nigga just wanna know. You know bro, how she feels about know. older men, especially considering what happened to her as a kid. So I don't what even happened? know why you're trying. I don't care that she got touched by Orochimaru's weird ass as a kid. Hey, this is yo. gonna sound a little crazy, of but course maybe Orochimaru it's a good thing. Did that. Because you know that every person Orochimaru has had contact with becomes freaky in some way. And I'm trying to experience that level of freakiness before I die. This man You're is literally insane, bro. sick and disgusting. Literally I said insane. what I said, and I meant it. Doubling down on that statement is just wild. But even if she somehow let you do all that, I don't think you could handle it without having a heart attack. Oh, me, he's not handling Plus, that, bro. me and her are friends with benefits, so I don't think you would want my seconds. Since when you seconds. think a nigga cared about some sloppy seconds, I'm just trying to get my meat wet. And with that statement alone, that brother starving. I've heard enough. <laughs> that brother starving, I hope dog. you have a horrible day and die in the shower. Oh my gosh. Because I lost all respect I had left for you today. Mm. Which wasn't much to begin with anyways. Damn. Damn. I guess you lost respect for me just as fast as you lost your dad when, when he, he offed himself. himself. Your oh. joke isn't funny anymore. This is your third time saying this. He says stop You're replaying that shit. The stare off is crazy, dog. I ain't gonna but lie. But was it as predictable as your dad when he offed himself? Don't even get mad. You were basically asking for it with that line. Now I'm up 4 0. Bro, what's going on, dog? What's going on, bro? 4 0 is crazy. It's nice to see you all here so early. Unfortunately for me, it looks like I didn't hit. have to hunt any of you down. So consider yourselves lucky. Not gonna lie. When I see stuff like this, I just have to call it out. Your tits are big as hell. <laughs> Yo, already oh, wild. Edging he did the other night hasn't must be been on the screen for more than 30 seconds. This is just a part of the natural progression to becoming a true edger like me. 
The what? real test Edger? is overcoming these urges. What do I have to do for you to let a nigga suck on them like some Similac? Yo, some what? Or how about I just come and... I'm a little too old for <sighs> you, little guy. So, how about you keep your thoughts to yourself next time? I would be lying if I said I wasn't bricked right now. Oh, me? Hey, no, I'm not gonna lie. We would have been the same boat, bro. We would have been the same boat, bro. I would have been... You know what I'm saying? I would have hit a, a Mario mushroom, bro. <gasps> Not even gonna hold you. Hey. Sorry to interrupt. Hey, I yo. overheard the conversation Put and just wanted to say that I just so happened to be of age. Put that so beast how away. So about me and the little boy switch places? Hey. Then maybe you can try and hunt me down after. Hey yo, this nigga Orochimaru didn't waste no time, bro. The exam didn't even start yet, dog. And you already trying to seduce Naruto, bro. In front of Anko, bro. Come on, Orochimaru, bro. This nigga could not wait. The second exam will be starting soon, so I think I'll pass. Plus, your approach is a little too aggressive for my liking. A little? That's understandable. You're a little too old for my liking anyways. <laughs> It, bro, come on. Come on, man. Looks like they have a sense of humor. Come I on. I don't know if it's just me, but that really didn't sound like a joke. Oh, me, but it maybe didn't. maybe I'm just overthinking oh, it. Oh, it's not, actually. Thanks to my little conversation with Lee yesterday, I was introduced to an amazing white artist named Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> I couldn't find any pictures of him, though. But that since nigga I listened is not to white. some of his songs last night, I now know a perfect song lyric for this situation. Freaky ass nigga. He a 69 god. <laughs> Yo. Come on, guard, bruh. All right. I think it's about time I explained what you will be doing for the second exam. Also, guys, if you don't know what Gara is talking about, Rock Lee made a pact with Gara just to make him crash out. So he thinks Rock Lee is a white supremacist because Gara is a white supremacist. I'm only going to explain this once. So make sure you listen up. The second exam is a survival exam, which you will have five days to complete. So basically, this is going to be five days of no weed. What a drag. This nigga five days Maru, seems bro. a bit much for one exam. Even though this year's exams are different, this was the same location used last year for the regular exams. Of course, so your weird the ass knows are that. The same, then we basically have to reach a very far and specific location within the forest that's in front of us. Thanks for saving me the explanation. What's your name? I don't like giving my name out to random people. No offense. None taken. Your hair color reminds me of someone I know, so I just wanted to say you're a handsome and smart young man. Oh, but I get a kunai thrown at me for stating a fact about her body. Make it make sense, my nigga. I'm sorry, Anko, but Kabuto is not but interested I'm not in your really type. attracted to your gen- Ahem. I knew it. <laughs> I I'm told sorry. For that, I stumbled on my words. <laughs> no, you didn't. What I meant to say no, you was, didn't, <laughs> I'm not sure how to respond to generous comments very well. <laughs> Moving on from that, <laughs> this is the ass. last thing you guys need to know before the exam starts. Each team will be given one of these scrolls. You must have both of these scrolls with you before making it to this exact point. If you don't have both, then you don't move on to the next round. So do whatever you have to do to get these scrolls. Okay. Anything goes. Anything? Or what's my take that a little too explained. serious? So go ahead and talk amongst yourselves until it's time to start. Hey, you pink haired little boy. Give me a quick update on how my man is doing. Insane. My man is doing amazing. And in case it hasn't clicked for you yet, me and him are about to be in the forest alone together. So I'm thinking I might extract some honey from the beehive when he's sleeping, if you know what I mean. Hey, yo, come on, Sakura, <laughs> bruh. Come on. You could have kept that to yourself, I ain't gonna lie. The glazing is crazy, pop it out. It is about time you took that sticker off your face. You are not even from the hood. <laughs> so I do not even know why you would put it on in the first place. I know he doesn't actually care. He just wants to try and get a reaction out of me. Trying to make still, him crash out? Most of these jits don't know the stuff that goes on behind the gates of the Huga clan. So they have no right to even try and speak on it. Slim, thick, caramel skin. 5'5", five, five, this bitch a 10. Hair done. 
Bills paid, you get taxes nothing? sliding in a bends. Remember that our only goal when entering this forest is making contact with the target. The thought of finally coming face to face with them has me feeling excited nah. in more places than one. Hey, yo! So if one of you messes this up for me, I'll kill you both. Hey, yo, come on, Orochimaru, bro. Come All on, right. dog. Quit sitting around and get your little asses in that forest. Because the second exam starts now. Oh my gosh, niggas ain't wasting no time, man. I can just smell the instigation opportunities in this forest. So, I need to make sure I do not miss them. I haven't seen Lee this eager to instigate in a while. Nigga, hype just must have something big already in the works, which is concerning. All right, team, listen up. The only thing that I need us to do is to find another scroll and get to the destination before Naruto's team does. This shouldn't be hard considering that we're all better than him anyways. Why? He Why is he on your mind? Naruto. Oh yeah, I like that. Hell yeah, hey, Shino. Yo, Shino. That's the type of energy I'm looking for. This is why you're such a great team. Mm. Hey, what's going on? Damn girl, you're good. Shino, why did you just say that? Yeah, keep crawling in and out just like that. Come on, Shino, bro. This nigga Shino was clapping a bug mid-conversation with Kiba. I don't know what to say about you, Shino, bro. I, I I had a I had a little speckle of hope you would be normal after the last couple episodes, but no. Gino, what the fuck are you doing right now? And why do I hear the sound of a beetle coming from your pants? Yo, yo. wait a minute. Don't tell me you're God damn it, Kiba, you just ruined it for me. Oh my god. But bro. to answer your question. It's exactly what it looks like. Come I had a conversation on, dog. last night with the fly that helped me get the answers off of Naruto's paper. He actually she did told what me he that was I gonna... should embrace what I like. And he that really I should be that? ashamed of my kink. And I agree. This so I'm not hiding it anymore. I don't judge you on whatever you do. So you can't judge me either. So this isn't even his first time doing something like this? Hey, yo! Before we move any further... I want to say something to you, Naruto. You making that statement about the proctor's breast earlier was out of pocket and made you look really horny. But it was out of pocket. That's just one of the side effects when you start to edge. So if anything, <laughs> I'm proud of you for continuing your edge sessions. I'm proud of you. I got you, my nigga. But speaking of that, I think I have some type of resistance or something. What do you mean you have a resistance? So you know how I've only been edging for a few days now, right? Well, within those few days, there were a couple of times where my streak should have ended because a nigga still had to risk it all for that nut. But when I did, what are we talking about? I was basically just shooting blanks because nothing came out. Maybe you just have more self-control than you think. Nah, I low-key think it's because of the jutsu that racist ass nigga used on me the other day. The huh? testicular torsion jutsu or whatever it's called. <gasps> After he used it on oh, me, he, did he told his me balls. that I won't be using my left nut anytime soon. So maybe because of that, oh, he told I'm not the able truth. to bust. Even if I purposely try to. You might be onto something with that. For real? After this exam is over, test it one more time just to be sure. I don't know or why I, I thought right he said... and we'll have our answer. I'll be back in a few minutes. Huh? This nigga didn't waste no time. <laughs> he didn't waste no time. Bro, that was a tough one, not gonna lie. But I will say without a doubt that it is good. Yo? Sasuke, you good? What did you do with Naruto? Oh, You're looking right at me. That's what not Naruto. Naruto has never said the word bro since I met him. Always Plus, he always again. opts to say the N word as a replacement for the word bro anyways. So since you're clearly not him, tell us what you did with him. Damn it, it was that noticeable? <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. Hey, part nine about to be fire. Is that part nine next? Yeah, part nine about to be fire. 